you tonight. Former state Senator Frank Artiles walking out of jail after being charged in a shill candidate scheme. The disgraced lawmaker is accused of paying a friend to run in a key race to dupe voters. And that fake candidate also arrested today. We've been following this story from the very beginning. Let's go to Local 10's Leanne Motorhome live now in West Miami Dade with the details for us tonight. Leanne. And new tonight, Artilas posted that $5,000 bond and hopped into a waiting pickup truck here in the parking lot. Former State Senator Frank Artiles had his canned answers ready as he walked out of jail Thursday evening. Explain to voters what happened. Can't comment. Can't comment. This is an open case. Artiles was clandestinely brought into the jail hours earlier to turn himself in. He's accused of recruiting and paying this man, Alex Rodriguez, to run for State Senate as a shill candidate. What do you say to voters? Rodriguez also bonded out this afternoon. Your lawyer said you were cooperating fully. No comment. We are alleging that November's Florida Senate District 37 election involved crimes. According to arrest warrants signed Monday, Artiles recruited an old acquaintance via Facebook to quote, confuse voters and siphon votes. The covert Republican agreed to run as a no party candidate in exchange for $50,000. Investigators say the fact he had the same last name as the Democrat in the race was no coincidence. To use his name to confuse who? The electors. Investigators gathered evidence, including text messages between the two men over the last four months. Artiles is accused of secretly funding the filings and the campaign, while also fulfilling Rodriguez's occasional requests for money out of a safe he kept in his house. Where did that money come from? Thank you very much. Have a great day, guys. Oh, These payments were intended to influence the outcome of the election. Rodriguez's attorney said in a statement, quote, Artiles cynically targeted and used a vulnerable friend. Alex Rodriguez deeply regrets allowing himself to be used in this way and hopes that by coming forth with the truth, he can help to right these wrongs. And as you saw there, Artiles did not say where that money came from. Investigators and prosecutors did not include that information either. In their documents, we can tell you that the senator who was elected, Ileana Garcia, prosecutors say they do not believe she had anything to do with this illegal scheme. Reporting live in West Miami-Dade, I'm Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News. Leanne, thank you.